What's up, everybody, and welcome to day number 11 after that FUE hair transplant. I'm gonna go hard, bitch, yeah, I'm gonna start. Play it on me now, cuz I'm gonna go far. Look at me now if you wanna see good in five years' time, I'm gonna still be. And today I'm actually realizing how lucky I was during the first nine days or so when I didn't touch my newly implanted grafts because today probably was one of the worst ones. I woke up with my hand on my grafts just laying on it like nothing and this is what happened. I looked at my hand, I was like, oh man, it's covered in vitamin E oil. I could see some scabs all over. It was pretty bad. Okay, not super bad. It's not really a worry because remember, it's just scabs that are falling off because if you actually look closely at my grafts, the hairs are basically inside of my head, just looking like regular old hairs. And then the scabs are actually off the scalp. So they're not even on it and they look like they're about to all flake off. And really, I should wash them off. Although my doctor, like I said, said not to do that until one month. So we got a lot of time left before we actually do that. We're gonna just let them fall off naturally or if I happen to brush them off in my sleep. But with that being said, like I said, if I did that during the first few days of getting the transplant, guess what? Hairs would've got dislodged, I'd have blood everywhere, the hair transplant would be an utter failure. But luckily, never touched it up until, you know, the last couple of days. So I think we're chilling. But all in all, things are looking great. If we take a close look at the recipient era, you can see, look at that. I mean, I can see that little, remember that little, the little line that we have between the implanted hair and the natural hair? It's closing in as the hair begins to grow back. Not too bad, especially from a distance, look at that. Ooh, I've been doing some videos lately on my other channels, and bam, you can't even tell unless I look down, you can kind of see that this part's lighter than the rest, which I'm thinking is probably going to be the new norm, unless it gets thicker, I'm not sure. We have a lot of time left before we actually figure that out for sure. Still sleeping with the neck pillow, of course, trying to lay on my back, although, like I said, I'm kind of waking up on my side, waking up on my hand, it's weird, I do a lot of weird things in my sleep, but... It's not really an issue at this point. I'm not concerned whatsoever. As far as the donor area goes, looking very nice. Almost no sensitivity and pain at all as I apply my Neosporin cream twice a day. And I feel like it's, I mean, if you didn't know, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know that there was a transplant going on back there. It's looking very nice. But I am excited for all of what's to come and hopefully these scabs go, well, I don't know, to be honest, <laughs> if all the hair's gonna fall out, I might as well keep the scabs a little bit longer. I mean, from far away, from a distant, distance that's normal, looks like hair, the scabs. So it makes it look a little bit thicker, so I look good on camera at least, I know that. Now once they fall off, and I have little sprouts of hair randomly everywhere, because I did see some hairs, there's like three hairs coming out of each follicle and stuff, it's pretty nice, but it's not gonna be anywhere near as thick as with the scabs, at least right now. In the future, maybe, we'll find out. But for right now, on camera, it looks like hair, looks great, and I'm happy with it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with all the progress. Make sure you subscribe to my other channels, because like I said, I'm doing videos over there, just in the day-to-day, -day, so you can just see how I look in the real world. And hopefully, things are going to get great. Although, you know, it's going to start going downhill once they start falling off. So, got to be ready for that, and you got to be here with me. So